Hey guys, it's Kim Dow here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all have been well and staying safe. So obviously because of what's been going on this year, plans have changed for a lot of people. So for me, my original plan was to travel to Japan multiple times and I was actually planning on spending like multiple months in Japan to film bulk content for the 2020 Olympics. But obviously because um, of what happened this year, <sighs> Plans have changed and yeah, pretty much when Australia closed their borders, I was like, well, no, I am not traveling because I don't want to be stuck overseas. So because of all that, I have been finding myself going through a lot of my old footages and you know what, like I've been traveling to Japan for 10 years and I have a lot of footage. So it was really nice going through all the old videos and just remembering all the good times I had. So whilst I was going through all the old footages, I was kind of picking out stuff that, you know, really made me happy. So I decided to make a video on 50 things I miss about Japan. Some of the things are kind of random but I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. So let's just start. So in this video I'm going to be focusing on things I miss in Tokyo and of course the views. I just love going up to high buildings and just looking at the amazing views that Tokyo has to offer. What I love about the Tokyo neighborhoods is that there is always something really unique and different about them. For example, we have a book town, we have shopping districts, we've got places with lots of nature, temples and shrines, it's amazing. Of course, if you've been to Japan, you would know what I'm talking about. Convenience stores are just amazing. I love eating the food. It's just so quick and easy, also really cheap and plus it's tasty. I also love going in and buying lots of snacks in the middle of the night as well. It's pretty bad, but it's good. I have not been to another country where trains arrive on the dot on time. Japanese trains are so efficient, so fast, they come very often and just very convenient. I just love walking around Tokyo in general because there is just so much to see. Every single time I visit Japan and walk around like, you know, a random neighborhood, I always discover some hidden gems and yeah, it's just really fun. I actually really miss the safety in Japan. I've never been to another country where I felt safe walking around alone at night time. But in Japan, I did this very often and yeah, nothing ever happened. Cherry blossoms are just so beautiful. I was so lucky to catch the cherry blossoms one year when they were in full bloom. The whole city was pink. It was amazing. I really miss that. I actually really love autumn in Japan just as much as spring. The autumn leaves are just so beautiful. If you go to Japanese parks, you will have these beautiful serene views and oh, I want to go back. I just love how in Japan they have different hotels and capsule hotels. They are just so convenient. So I usually stay in one of these if I have an early flight the next morning or if I have to, you know, go somewhere close by and I just want a quick cheap hotel to stay at. This is perfect. Cute theme cafes in Japan. Honestly, oh, the Pokemon Cafe, it was just so fun. I went here like five times, it was so expensive, but it was just so nice to just sit and eat in a cafe that, you know, has all the characters that you love. Speaking of cute cafes, there is a cafe in Tokyo that sells Totoro cream puffs. Oh, look at this! Isn't that so adorable? And it tasted really good as well. I just miss, you know, adventuring out and discovering these places. Another thing I miss, themed restaurants. There's a Sailor Moon themed restaurant in Tokyo and whilst you eat, 
you can also enjoy an awesome performance at the same time. Yeah, it was just really cool to relive, you know, my anime memories. <laughs> If you've been to Japan, you would know that you will find vending machines like literally on every single corner. It's just so convenient if you just ever want to grab a quick drink. Yeah, I loved getting the hot milk tea very often. And also there's Pikachu ones too, isn't that so cool? Oh, and I just love Boss Coffee so much, I needed to give this one its own number. This was like a coffee that I would drink every single day. Of course, I really miss Japanese food. Like, I actually don't eat seafood, but there are so many other food options. Hot Pot is one of my favorites. I loved tempura and of course, ramen. And because this place was my favorite, I had to include it as well. Ichiran Ramen, guys. I could eat this every single day. Oh, it's so good. I miss this. I want it. Damn, I'm so hungry now watching all of these old clips. Regrets. Sushi trains were just really cool. And guys, I just miss how cheap it was to have sushi in Japan. Like for one plate of sushi, it's only like a dollar which you know is really cool in Australia if you want to get like the cheapest plate it's usually like I don't know three or four dollars I loved how there were so many Kit Kat flavors every single time I go back to Japan I always discover new ones and I just don't know how to come up with all of these new flavors so often but some are really good actually some are bad but it's just fun to you know try new things I usually avoid Starbucks around the world, but in Japan, it was a place I loved going to. Tokyo opened up the Starbucks Reserve and oh my gosh guys, it's like the most fanciest Starbucks you will ever see. The drinks are really awesome as well, so yeah, wish I could go back here. Of course, Japanese street foods are on another level. I just love going to these shopping arcades and you know, just trying out different foods they have. It's really cheap and also it's delicious, so... Ah, yum! Of course, you know, anime shopping is the best in Japan. Um, I mean, I don't really watch that much anime. Like, the only characters I really like are Pokemon. Um, so, whenever I go to these anime stores, I go straight to the Pokemon section. But just the selection they have is just amazing. I loved going to game centers in Japan because first of all they were huge and they always had the best games and they were all updated. We have game centers in Australia but you know the songs that you play on these machines are all old and you know you just want to play the new stuff sometimes so I really miss that. Claw machines in Japan had like the best stuff ever even though they were like rigged as hell um, I mean I would play it if I really wanted one of the items and yeah I mean like when you do eventually get one it feels good. Daiso, the 100 yen store. I can spend hours in here. There's just so much and also I mean we have Daiso in Australia but it's a lot more expensive and there's not that much selection but in Japan oh boy this one had like I think four stories. It's so big. Don Quixote, of course, is one of my favorite stores. It's like a variety store and they just stock everything. Every single time I make a trip to Japan, I always have to visit just so I can, you know, pick up some souvenirs to bring home. They have like everything, snacks, skincare, makeup, toys, uh, suitcases, food, yeah. I just love the variety of things I have in drugstores in Japan. I really do like Japanese skincare. So whenever I go back, I always, you know, go into a drugstore to pick up some of my favorite products. 
I always try my best to be in Japan during the Fukubukuro season, which is the lucky bags. They only sell this during New Year's, and what it is is that you get a bag, and what you pay for the bag, you usually get like five times the amount. In products inside, and the thing is, you don't know what is inside these bags, so it's a surprise when you open them up. Ah,、oh, gacha pons! I miss these. If you guys haven't yet, I made a video of myself opening up 100 of these gacha pons when I visited Japan、um, last year. It's just so fun. You have so many different varieties, and best of all, it's not that expensive. It's around like two dollars for a try, and generally you can get. A character that you want. I mean, if you have good luck. I actually love buying my glasses in Japan because, okay, compared to Australia, it is so much more faster and convenient. You can get a pair of glasses plus an eye test for as little as fifty dollars, and you get the glasses within an hour. In Australia, usually it's like I don't know, two hundred dollars for a pair of glasses, and you have to pay for the eye test. Plus, you have to wait two weeks to get your glasses. So yeah, it's a lot more convenient in Japan. I love souvenir shops in Japan. Like, look at this cup noodle candles, and you've got beer, you've got ramen. Like, oh, there's just so many cute souvenirs. It's so hard not to buy everything every time you go into one of these stores. I really have to hold myself back every time. I loved Japanese fashion just because it was so unique and different. I mean, these days I am not so much into Japanese fashion anymore, but I do miss going into Shibuya 109 and you know just walking around and shopping for unique clothes. I mean, when I was younger, I spent most of my time when I was in Japan in Shibuya 109. How cool is this? Like Japan has a Pikachu festival every year.、Um, this was one of the years that I was lucky enough to go to. I managed to watch the Pikachu parade. Oh, it was just the best thing ever! They turned the whole city into Pikachu. And of course, I mean, I've been showing this a lot in this video already.、Um, yeah, you guys know me. I love my Pokemon, so of course, I love the Pokemon Center. Every single time I fly to Japan, I have to make a quick stop,、um, you know, just to visit, check out new merch, see if I need to get anything, and yeah, I really miss that. Okay, I'm not like huge into Disney, but I do miss Disney Sea a lot. Every single time I go with my friends, we always have a lot of fun. Also, it's like so. Beautiful. Like there are so many places where you can take some really nice pictures at. Stationery. Oh, guys, this is dangerous. If you love stationery, you will spend like so much time and money in these stores. Like I think I spent a couple of hundred dollars、um, when I filmed this video at that time. Oh. But I just love the variety of different colors they had. Plus, I loved how cute all the stationery was as well. Super Potato is honestly one of my favorite stores in Tokyo. Like, honestly, if you were playing games in the '90s, oh, you would love this store as well. It just brings back. All of the old memories. It's very nostalgic, and if you want, you can also purchase these games and play as well. They also have some cool merch, which、um, they update pretty often. One area I loved in Tokyo was Shima Kitazawa. I just love the thrift stores here. Honestly, in Japan, I find that the stuff they sell in the stores are very good quality, and you can. Often pick up really good pieces for a bargain. So yeah, I think I found these shoes for like five dollars. That's pretty cool. Bars with views. Honestly, I don't go to many bars, but this bar was one I really loved.、Uh, this was actually where Lost in Translation was filmed, and yeah, it's one of my favorite bars. It's so beautiful, and I just love the atmosphere. Christmas illuminations.、Um, if you ever visit Japan during Christmas, honestly, like in Tokyo, 
The whole place is lit up with illuminations and they often have shows as well which you can attend. I love the atmosphere during this time, it's so beautiful. Of course these days like when you visit Japan there are so many places where you can take some awesome Instagram pictures. I mean every single time I visit Japan I spam my feed with pictures just because seriously like how can you not? So cool! I really miss Japanese festivals like just walking around wearing the yukatas, eating street food, seeing performances, just hanging out with people. Oh, hanging out with people, that's um, <laughs> something I haven't done in a long time. But yeah, um, there's fireworks as well. I just yeah, really miss these vibes. Japanese parks are so beautiful. This is one of my favorite parks in Tokyo and especially during the sakura season. Oh my gosh guys, like the whole place is just pink. Um, if you go during summer, it's all lush and green. If you go during autumn, everything is red. It's, oh, it's so beautiful and very well maintained. This is kind of weird but I really miss Japanese toilets. Like have you ever been to Japan during winter when it's really cold, you sit down on one of these toilets and it's so warm. It's the best feeling ever, seriously. I really miss being able to go to one of these places and being able to rent a kimono. They do your hair for you and you can just walk around and take really pretty pictures wearing these amazing outfits. Oh boy, onsen, I miss this so, so much. Hot springs are like the best thing ever. You sit inside a hot spring once you are done with a long day and you just feel so relaxed. Shinkansen, the bullet train, oh it's just so convenient. I just loved how I was able to get on a train and then two and a half hours later I'm in a completely different city. Um, it just makes you feel like you're in an airplane sitting in one of these. It's just so fast, very clean and of course, you know, convenient. Um, I love the food that you can get on there as well. Of course shrines and temples are just so beautiful in Tokyo. There are so many. This is one of my favorites. Just look at these gates. Isn't that stunning? I also loved how they had lots of unique temples as well. This is a cat temple and as you can see they have a bunch of cat figurines around. It's so cool, right? I actually really miss the sky tree. Like I've been a couple of times and I know it's touristy but it's just really beautiful and I just loved looking out and seeing Tokyo in all different directions. At the time I went they had this Attack on Titan special which was really cool. Oh team planets guys if you want to take some cool Instagram photos go to this place. I love this so much. It was just so fun, so interesting and the displays were just so beautiful. Um, yeah, to go in you have to book tickets in advance but they're pretty easy to get. And the last thing I miss about Japan of course is the ability to actually fly there. Like, oh I took this for granted. I did not think that we would not be able to travel anymore but you know hopefully soon we can go back. Wait for me Japan, I'll be back. That is the end of today's video. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. It was really nice making that video because I definitely took traveling for granted. Like never would I have thought last year that, you know, in 2020 that I would not be able to travel. Um, and it just feels really weird because I do travel to Japan so often and not being able to go there for like over a year, uh, yeah, it just feels really strange. But hopefully you all stay safe, um, hopefully we can get through this together and we will be able to travel again next year. Once again, if you guys have any requests for videos, please let me know in the comment box down below. And also follow my vlog channel if you want to see what I get up to in my everyday life in Australia. If we are able to travel next year, I will be spending a lot of time in Japan, so definitely we'll be doing Japan vlogs again if that happens. I also have a gaming channel if you want to see Animal Crossing videos. And also follow me on my social media, which is all linked down below as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!